Hello, today we're going to get a data set that we're going to be using primarily for Stata and we're going to be using the Microsoft Excel FRED plugin. So I have Excel open up and then as you can see I have the FRED plugin installed so I click on the FRED tab and we're just going to start out easy with three variables. So we're going to grab GDP data, so gross domestic product. You can also type in the GDP C96. We're going to grab unemployment, so we'll grab the unemployment rate. And then lastly, we're going to grab the consumer price index for prices. And then we're going to load the data by clicking Get Fred Data. And as you can see, it populated here. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is I, I find this very easy with the Fred plugin in Excel. We can do it in Stata later, but uh, Fred makes it very easy. So first off, we can't compare all of these because GDP data is quarterly while the other two are monthly. So we're going to have to convert the unemployment rate and the CPI to quarterly numbers. So I'm just going to type in a Q right here, a Q right here, and hit Enter. And then if I hit Update Fred Data, as you can see, now we have quarterly data. So 1148 is the first quarter of 1948, second quarter 1948, third quarter, fourth quarter, so forth. Then lastly, we're going to exclude all data before 1959. So the first thing that we're going to do is in this box right here, so in row 4, instead of 11900, we're going to go 111959 and that's going to tell us where we're going to start. And then I'm going to type the same thing here. And then I will do the same thing for the CPI. And then I'm going to get update Fred data. And now we have consistent numbers starting in the first quarter of 1959 onwards. Okay, and we go up to the second quarter of 2015. The GDP number just came out about a week ago. Last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cleanse this data. So I'm just going to call this a done data set. So here we're just going to type in time. And then I'm going to type in GDP so I know that that's a GDP number. Then we're going to type in the unemployment rate and I'll just call it UN rate. And then the CPI. Then I have these date columns and we don't really need them anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything above row 7. And then I'm going to delete our excess time columns because it's all consistent now. Okay, so we have a time variable. So this is the quarter in which these three variables appear. So we're working with three time series data sets right now of GDP, unemployment rate, and CPI. The last thing that we want to do is we want to save this. So we're going to save it as a CSV, file to save as, and I'll just keep it on the desktop as a CSV, comma delimited. Okay, and we'll just call this Stata example data. Okay, and then we can't support multiple sheets, so it's just going to save sheet one or the sheet that we're working in, and that's fine. And then, yes, we know that some features are not compatible, so it's just going to save the numbers. We click yes. Now, there's a few ways that we can get this data into Stata. So I'm going to open up Stata 12 now. And here's state of 12. And the first way that we can do it is very simple. We can just copy and paste. So this button right here is the data editor for Stata. So we can click this, and that's what this looks like. I can go to my Excel sheet, and I can just simply copy and paste. I can even just copy all the rows. So I just go copy, and then right here, I'm just going to go paste. And we're going to treat the first row as variable names because we have the variable names in there. 
Then as you can see, it populates time, GDP, unemployment rate, CPI. And then if I click close, over here we can see that we do have the variable names and deeds. So we have time, GDP, unemployment rate, and CPI. And then in this data editor, we know that time is a string. So we're going to have to destring that at a later date. And then we have GDP, unemployment rate, and the CPI are all numbers because they're in black. So red indicates a string, so Stata won't read it as a number. Well, black numbers are read as numbers, so we can do manipulations such as adding, addition, dividing, and so forth. Okay, so the first way that we can do it is just copying and pasting, and that's a very simple way. Another way that we can do it is by directly uh, using a command called insheet. So first, I'm just going to clear, and that clears the data from active memory. I'm going to start out with a little do file. So I, I usually use a do. The first thing I'm going to do is set more off. And then we're going to set a delimiter so I can have enters that are read as uh, multiple multiple lines are, can be read as one line. So just, this is hashtag delimit. And then I'm going to put a semicolon because that's going to be my delimiter to tell Stata that this is the end of my command, no matter how many lines of code I'm using. Next, where we saved it, it's kind of a hectic way to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set a global index. So I'm going to say global data. And then I'm going to put in parentheses, I'm going to go to my output file. So let me grab that. So I have Explorer here. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. And then we're going to have this data example data. And I'm just going to go properties. So this is where it's stored. And I don't want to type this out every single time that I want to save data or open data, I want this to be the default. So I'm going to copy this. Go back into my Stata editor and click Paste. Put a slash, end. And now since I'm working with the delimiter, I have to have the semicolon to tell Stata that that is one line of code. So basically, this global data is going to be Whenever I type dollar sign data, it's going to read this as a string because I have the parentheses. Now, first thing that we can do is we can insheet using what we're going to do is we're going to put in parentheses dollar sign data slash we we called it stata data example. Is that correct? Stata example data. So data example data dot csv close my parentheses and then I'm going to go comma clear and that clear command tells Stata that whatever's in active memory so far can be cleared out without saving and we can upload new data and then I'm also going to type comma to tell Stata that this is a csv file Stata will automatically figure this out but it takes a little bit longer so if we use the comma command, it works out a little bit faster. And then I close that line of coding. Then I can open up Stata. And I go here. And then I just highlight what I want. And I can click this one, the execute selection. And I execute it. And then sure enough, now we have our variables time, GDP, unemployment rate, CPI. And it looks exactly like it did with copying and pasting. The good thing about this is now that we have the CSV saved, once we upload it into Stata, I still have the raw data intact without manipulating it anymore. So if we just were to copy and paste every time, I'd have to copy and paste every single time. So if I did something wrong within Stata, I would have to go back in and copy and paste. But this way, I'm telling Stata to just grab the raw data from the CSV, put it into its memory, and then save it. Or it's, we can manipulate it then. And then if something goes wrong, I can simply clear it out and bring it in again.